see you. First up, we've got NVIDIA rallying above a key level today and extending a four-day win streak up nearly 20 percent this week. Your trade on that beloved stock. On that beloved stock, Tyler, I'm going to tell you to buy it cautiously if you don't own it. You've got to wade into that water. This is the hottest area of the market. As long as the race for AI and this battle to continue to create AI continues, this stock's going to do well. They're still looking for like 40 percent growth in earnings from this company over the next five years. It's gone from 48 times earnings, 2024 earnings, to 34 times next year and coming down with this large earnings growth. So uh, it's, it's, it's performed beautifully well. It's uh, a cyclical area. It probably has a few years left, but the AI impetus that's driving those earnings, I think, can take this stock higher, even at a $3 trillion market cap. So if you want to establish a position, this is a dollar cost average in. I think so. I mean, this is if you have a blank in this space, I would want to have a position. It doesn't have to be a full position, and it has to be keeping, in keeping with your investment discipline and philosophy. So it can't be an appropriate risk for your portfolio. Check with your advisor. In the most recent trading session, NVIDIA closed at $124.58, up 1.4% from the previous day. The stock moved in a way that exceeded the 0.2% daily increase of the S&P 500. Simultaneously, the tech-heavy Nasdaq rose 0.21% and the Dow added 0.24%. The company that makes artificial intelligence and gaming graphics chips had its shares grow by 1.46% over the course of the previous month, outpacing the 5.85% decline in the computer and technology sector and the 1.49% decline in the S&P 500. Investors will be quite interested in NVIDIA's next earnings report. On August 28, 2024, the company is slated to release its earnings report. Estimated earnings per share, EPS, for the company are $0.63, up 133.33% from the same quarter the previous year. In the meantime, $28.24 billion in sales is predicted by our most recent consensus forecast, which represents a 109.04% increase over the same quarter last year. For the full fiscal year, Zach's consensus estimates indicate plus 106.92% and plus 93.39%, respectively, changes over the previous year's earnings per share of $2.69 and sales of $117.82 billion. Investors should also monitor any recent changes to analyst expectations for NVIDIA, the most recent short-term business trends, which are subject to regular change, are usually reflected in these updates. Positive estimate revisions therefore represent analyst optimism regarding the business and profitability of the company. Studies show a direct correlation between these estimate adjustments and the momentum of the near-term share price. In terms of value, the forward p slash e ratio for NVIDIA is currently 45.71 when compared to the industry average forward P slash E of 23.28. This is a premium. Not to be overlooked is the fact that NVDA is currently trading at a PAG ratio of 1.22. Similar to the commonly used P slash E ratio, the PAG ratio additionally takes into account the company's projected trajectory for earnings growth. The semiconductor, General industry had an average PEG ratio of 3.6 as of yesterday's market close. So what does this really mean for NVIDIA's stock? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said back to the video. Um, for NVIDIA, we're awaiting the earnings on the 28th, and I'm wondering how the story sets up. You know, on August 5th, people were really doubting the growth story within the AI sector, but now all of the stocks are pretty much back above August 5th levels, um, right. roughly. So where are we in terms of the setup going to those numbers? Well, there's been what we call ROI fog, where yeah. everybody's worried about, is there an ROI? And mm -hmm. ROI is the most subjective thing probably within our uh, coverage questions lately. Um,
but we feel that NVIDIA is really still the market leader, still dominant, and they are really set up well for next year. The reason is a lot of the apps that are coming are going to start inferencing. Video is a big catalyst, so we're hoping to see that. But I think that their Blackwell uh, concerns that there was a push out were a little overblown. You know, we think that the Hopper stuff is going really well for them in the near term, but hopefully uh, there's no air pocket. Ben, have you thought about when might be a time to start thinking about investing in the people that are buying the chips from NVIDIA as to whether or not that would mean something to their bottom line? Well, uh, NVIDIA uh, actually invests in some of the, their own customers. Right. But, uh, um, in terms of uh, investing, you mean in the other equities? Well, well, let's say I think NVIDIA is over is either overblown or is fully valued here. And that NVIDIA makes a chip. And that chip is like an input into the process. Somebody's using that chip, and they're going to make money with that chip. Who's going to make money with the chips NVIDIA is making? Well, first, it's going to be the clouds. Uh, so the hyperscalers, Meta, uh, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, uh, they are going to create tools, and then folks join their clouds and then start creating AI apps. Now, a lot of people are like, hey, I'm not using it, or I got bored with it. So what we need to start seeing is enterprises layer their data on some of the tools these companies have, including their models, and then start generating returns. What it's looking like right now is that it helps them cut costs, which means some people, which may actually help the uh, Fed's uh, reasoning here. But uh, it does look like uh, a lot of the leading tech companies are using AI to so it's the same down. seven. It's an incestuous uh, no, circle here. No, no. I, well, I do think that a lot of companies it'll be led by tech, but uh, a lot of the enterprises over time will be using AI to be more efficient. Customer service already looks amazing as an as a use case. Coding, and then a lot of stuff in healthcare. I actually do some work with Mount Sinai, and it, you're really optimistic about what it means for healthcare and diagnoses. Although NVIDIA has been a top performing company for a number of years, the AI explosion in 2023 brought this chip stock to the forefront. Triple digit revenue growth over the previous year started to happen every quarter and continues to do so now. Given how much money NVIDIA has made, some investors would be concerned about a bubble, but I still think this stock and the AI possibility are very promising. This is due to NVIDIA's ability to outperform its rivals profit from the rapid expansion of the market, and consistently innovate in order to hold its leading position. Recap. NVIDIA is a well-known company that designs and produces graphics processing units, GPUs, which are widely utilized in data centers, gaming, professional visualization, and most significantly, artificial intelligence applications. Over the coming years, artificial intelligence is still expected to grow significantly. Grandview research data shows that the AI market would grow at a rate of 36.6% TAGR through 2030. Although this is positive news for AI startups generally, NVIDIA benefits more from it. This is a result of NVIDIA outpacing its rivals and having more room to grow inside a booming industry. According to recent remarks made by former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, a lot of the biggest tech companies are investing more in AI. He stated that certain businesses are prepared to invest $20 $100 billion on AI infrastructure. While many businesses will gain from this trend, NVIDIA stands to gain the most applications. For reasons why businesses depend on NVIDIA chips. In terms of technology, NVIDIA is far ahead of its rivals. Some of its products are essential for AI infrastructure and have no rivals. NVIDIA is able to charge high fees for its goods and services thanks to this unique edge. While rivals are producing their own AI chips and resources, NVIDIA is forging solid bonds with major tech firms. In order to stay a few steps ahead of the competition, NVIDIA also keeps coming up with new CPUs. Because NVIDIA is the industry leader in a rapidly expanding field, tech titans continue to collaborate with the business even as they develop their own AI chips. The entry point into an industry that feels just as transformative as the internet is NVIDIA. Even if the barrier to entry is substantial, tech behemoths won't give up on that kind of opportunity. The need is still increasing. One can get an idea of NVIDIA's direction by looking at the guidelines published by other AI companies. Super Microcomputer is a partner of NVIDIA that has also benefited from the AI boom. Investors in NVIDIA should find optimism in its fiscal 2025 projection.
Super Micro forecasted revenue for fiscal 2025 to be between $26.0 billion and $30.0 billion, compared to $14.94 billion in fiscal 2024. Super Micro is anticipated to have a comparable outcome in fiscal 2025 after more than doubling its revenue on an annual basis in fiscal 2024. Ahead of that is Dan Ives from Wedbush. Before I get to Palo Alto specifically, just got to ask about the rally we have seen in tech. It was the strongest sector today, and it's really been leading this turnaround, this rebound, after we did see a pullback in the S&P and a correction in the NASDAQ. It's a golden age for tech. I mean, in my opinion, we are just in the early stages of a bull market. And if you look at what we've seen from AI revolution, just from broader tech, it's been strong from an earnings perspective. And the growth scare that we saw it's just a bump in the road to what I believe is really this fourth industrial revolution playing out. And that's how we've handheld investors through this. This is the time to own tech. And I believe it's really just the start, still 9 p.m. in an AI party that we believe goes to 4 a.m. Mm, we're, we're in an election cycle. We're already starting to see some of the signs of cybersecurity issues and hacks as we do move closer to that November election day. On the flip side of that, we saw the debacle with CrowdStrike sure. a couple of weeks ago as well. So how does that position us for cybersecurity earnings when we do have Palo Alto kicking them off on Monday? Yeah, I actually think as a subsector, it's one of the strongest ones to own. And not just into year end, but into early 2025. In terms of what we're seeing in more and more movements to the cloud, cyber is actually benefit. Names like CyberArk, Checkpoint. I think Palo Alto, it's, it's actually one of our top names the, the last few years, it's a table pounder in our opinion. This is a name where I think glass half empty is still on the street, but it, now they're going for platformization. And I think when the cash and the team are doing, they're going to gain more and more share. And even when you look at the CrowdStrike situation, a black eye for CrowdStrike, Palo Alto could benefit from that. In addition, the company stated that the delay of NVIDIA Blackwell would not have a significant effect on its sales. Growing demand for Supermicro's AI products suggests that NVIDIA will see robust demand growth in the upcoming quarters. And NVIDIA released upbeat earnings, indicating that more growth is forthcoming for long-term investors. In the first quarter of fiscal 2025, NVIDIA's revenue increased by 262% year-over-year. This is an incredible figure, made even more impressive by the fact that investors have grown accustomed to expecting these kinds of growth rates from NVIDIA. Additionally, net income increased by 628% year-over-year, translating to a 57.1% net profit margin. In the company's Q1 press release, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang referred to artificial intelligence as the next industrial revolution. The company's financials clearly illustrate that, with NVIDIA predicted to bring in $28.0 billion in revenue in the second quarter of fiscal 2025 give or take 2%, but it makes sense to believe that NVIDIA outperforms that recommendation. In addition to Supermicro's optimistic outlook for the entire year, NVIDIA exceeded its own projections for the first quarter. The leader in AI stated during its key 4 FFY24 results that it anticipated to produce $24.0 billion in Q1 FY25, give or take 2%. NVIDIA surprised everyone by ending the first quarter with $26.0 billion in sales. That amount is 8.3% more than what NVIDIA had predicted. If NVIDIA takes similar action in the future, it's possible that the company's overall sales in Key 2 FY25 may surpass $30 billion. Stock analysts on Wall Street believe that NVIDIA is an excellent investment. Over the last three months, NVIDIA has received 37 buys and four hold ratings, earning a consensus rating of strong buy. A 16% increase from present levels is suggested by the average NVDA stock price target. At $200, the highest price target suggests that NVIDIA can increase its existing market share by an extra 61%. Without a doubt, NVIDIA is the industry leader in artificial intelligence. In the future, assuming the industry maintains a 36.6% TAGR through 2030, it ought to be the clear victor. For a while, the stock outperformed market indices, momentarily taking the top spot as the most valuable publicly traded corporation in the world. Most likely, NVIDIA will take that title back.
Wong likened the inventive potential of artificial intelligence to that of the Industrial Revolution. Although the CEO of NVIDIA made that analogy, numerous it behemoths that see the promise of artificial intelligence are the ones who are contributing billions of dollars to NVIDIA's coffers. NVIDIA is a growth stock that shows promise and has the potential to drive the stock market higher. As we conclude this deep dive into NVIDIA's continued AI boom, it's clear that the company remains a dominant force in the tech industry, with its innovations driving significant growth and opportunities. NVIDIA's advancements in AI are far from over, and the potential for future gains makes it an exciting prospect for investors. Staying informed and making strategic decisions can position you to benefit from the ongoing AI revolution. At Investing Tutorial, we're committed to helping you navigate the complexities of the stock market with confidence. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support enables us to continue delivering valuable content that empowers you on your investment journey.